hello everyone welcome back to this channel in this part i'm going to show you how can we add this carousel slider in our application right after this latest post all right so in our previous part we completed this latest post feature and now after that we will implement our uh, carousel slider so if you want to add this carousel slider we need to take help of a uh, package that is called carousel pro go to this popular dart and search carousel pro you will be able to uh, access this uh, carousel pro slider so first we need to install this package inside our project so go to the install and now copy this dependency and this is carousel pro so copy this carousel pro and open this pubspec.yml file right after this copper channel icon i'm gonna paste it here now go to these tools flutter flutter packages get so and now we need to copy our import this one so we got zero it means we do not have any errors we successfully installed it inside our project now i'm gonna paste this here this import.carousel.pro.tart right up that right up our uh so this one is all list pool and right after this container that is containing our that is containing our whole data we need to add a, another container so before that let me add a size box i'm gonna add size box and height is going to be uh, we can say 6.0 and now in here we need to add a container so container and we can define the height here first add the margin margin is the essence at all we can say 10.0 and define the height we can say height to 50.0 it will be good now in here we need to add a child and now in here we will get all of the instruction how can we implement this carousel slider into our mobile application so you will if you go through these uh, readme options then uh, you will find out all of the information so in here they say is that they says that in here uh, they say that we need to use this height of size box or images and style this carousel we don't need to use the size box uh, instead of using size box we are using this uh, we are using this container so we can directly copy it and if we scroll down then we will see a little bit of uh, extra features for adding this dotted and some other features okay so i'm gonna copy this one this part here so i'm gonna copy this carousel child here like this child here. okay so copy this child here and i'm gonna paste it here let me format it okay our child is formatted right now so what i have done here uh, i added a margin and then height 250 then added a child we need to add a child and child is carousel and this child carousel takes a bunch of parameters for instance this image and inside this image we'll have to use our image then dot side dot spacing uh, dot color indicator pairing and many other things i will explain it everything so before that let me run it and i want to just get the confirmation that our uh, slider is working here perfectly and here you go we have added our slider here but we got a why we got a lot of space here okay so uh we are getting a lot of space because i think we have added a lot of height inside our main container so uh we have added uh 300 height so we can change it to 200 because we don't need to have two 300 height here and we are getting an error uh, no problems we can add a little bit more space to 20 and now it is working perfectly all right so we have added our uh, slider now we don't need to add this high box uh, oh, not this one we don't need to add this height as we have a lot of padding therefore we are getting a lot of space so i'm gonna remove this thing and uh, it is perfect now so now let me uh, explain it let me remove all of the images from here so we need to add our network image so add network image and inside this network image we need to paste our image url so go here and add some images whatever you want to add so let me scroll down here 
we can add this image for our slider and uh, after this we need to add another network image network image need to add another image mm, we can choose this image as well and we need to use this network image and then right here we can choose this one it is a small size image so therefore I'm gonna skip it and I'm gonna copy this one uh, I'm gonna add this network image and in here we need to add another image where uh, we can add copy image address then the four and the fifth image is going to be our this image I can choose this one all right so now let me run it hope we will be able to get all of our images So definitely it will take a little bit more time because uh, all of the data are uh, getting from internet and the internet speed is not uh, good enough right now. So now we can see this, our uh, image is scrolling one by one and we can see uh, different kind of images. So now let me customize it. Now in here we can see a uh, dotted background color. I'm gonna uh, remove this things dot pg background color. So remove it, we don't need to have this one. Now if I run it, then we will be able to see this our uh, dot image has been removed uh, dot color uh, light green accent uh, indicator padding and border radius and dot color dot spacing 15 and dot size now let me change the dot size 5 to 8 and you can see our dot size has increased okay all uh, right so we have successfully implemented our uh we have successfully implemented uh um, successfully added our uh, slider i'm gonna reduce the size instead of 250 we can say 200 it will be good okay so now it looks perfect okay so after that we can add our buttons or whatever we want to do add so we have successfully implemented our navigation trailer, our sports news, all of this thing and latest post and all of the functionalities. So uh, I'm gonna stop this videos right over here, right here and I don't want to continue it here on YouTube as I already created this video for uh, Edomi and this course is now live on Edomi, Flutter News Portal Live, Firestore back in Android and iOS. Now uh, as you can see that now Edomi is uh, running black friday promo therefore you can see this course is uh, on 9.99 uh, price so this course it total it has 7.5 hours video content this is a complete application that you can that you are seeing here and all of the data are coming from uh, firestore so as i have already created this application therefore i don't want to continue it here on youtube so i will leave the discount coupon in my uh, youtube description below uh, you can buy it from from there and uh, if in case you do not have enough money to buy this course on 9.99c then uh, you can join to my facebook group and you can ask me about the free coupon definitely i will provide you free coupon so you will get my facebook group links on description below already many students are there they are learning from my group and they are learning from my courses so hope you understand and uh, please do consider subscribe my youtube channel and like comment and share and you can also comment me and you can also uh, if you have any specific requirement if you want to learn anything then you can uh, leave a comment then I will try to create a video uh, uh, create, try to create a video on it no problem for that and let me uh, show you once more that uh, what application uh, it is that we were uh, building and 
uh, although I shown you uh, in first video and now I'm, I also want to show you it here so this is our complete application that uh, we are um, uh, that we are building so second post we can see the latest post feature and all of the data are coming from Firestore and we have this slider and if you go to this international news we will see this all of this data the custom design we can do pull to refresh and we can uh, do view details we have this nice animated uh, circle progress progress part we have this gallery implementation and this is a complete and fully functional application using uh, cloud firestore and we also have this navigation rear that i have shown you in this video so we can access from international news okay so all of the functionality uh, uh, functionality are uh, functionalities are implemented in this application therefore i'm 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 going to stop this video right here and as i told you earlier if you want you can buy this course from this um, uh, from this uh, uh, udemy.com so see you in the next lecture thank you